I said, I want it to be more than just the raising. I want it to be a festival. And I want it to focus on the different culture, uh, multi-ethnic, and not just on one culture, uh, not just the Chinese culture. So the idea of this Dragon Ball Festival is supposed to be just a Dragon Ball race. The heart of the Dragon Ball Festival I think it's just the excitement to be around other positive people and enjoying the day, enjoying interacting with, with everyone and of course coming together to be on the water and to celebrate life and, and our community. It's all about teamwork and going out and having a good time and some good physical training while it's going on. This is my first race uh -huh. and so far it's not nearly as scary as I thought it would be. Everyone's really friendly. Chimita! <laughs> the Dragon Boat Festival is a family oriented festival that combines Dragon Boat racing and cultural performances. It's a historical event and today, I mean, really trace back to 2,000 years. And today, it is a, a sport that, is, that people enjoy, and Dragon Ball racing is all over the world. With tradition, you can really establish a foundation for values, and by building that tradition, you also build the importance of that values and the stability of them. The festival definitely ties into our Benedictine values, uh, probably primarily with hospitality and community, just by bringing everyone together in a space and sharing with each other the Benedictine value of hospitality and appreciating each other no matter where, where the person's coming from. It gives uh, people a chance to, to learn something about other cultures and to learn to appreciate and uh, deepen their understanding. You know, St. Martin's University has been in, in this community for over 100 years. And we are part of the community. And what a wonderful way for us to give back to the community is by hosting this festival. We realize that people are not equipped for it, they don't know about it. We'll take them out and we'll give them instructions, dragon boat etiquette, dragon boat safety, paddling techniques, what to expect in, in a race. All of that is provided for the person who wants to take part in the event. And then when they are out on the water, be better prepared for what's going to take place on race day. I think what's special is the camaraderie, not just between the people in your boat, but between everyone in the community. It's really easy to approach other people from other boats and talk to them about where they're from and why they're paddling or how long they've been paddling. So you make friends. Everyone's bringing you know, their passion, their reasons why they're racing. And we will be very super also. We have been creating our team ever since December, so I'm hoping that we'll come out a win this year. It's fun. Winning's nice, and when I go out there to compete, you know, I try to win, but, you know, I enjoy the doing of it. I would never do this if I was a jail back in Sweden, that's for sure. It's got me hooked. We have to exciting and fun. Thank you.